is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another tweak video. We're taking a look at a really crazy tweak that turns your springboard into this 3D kind of place. I don't even know how to describe this tweak, um, but I've been playing with this for a couple of hours and I think it's really freaking neat. Now, I want to mention that there's no functionality for this whatsoever. I mean, I guess there kind of can be because I can zoom out here and these are all of the applications I have on my iPhone. So you can basically look at all the apps at once. Some of them are like stacked up below others so you can't really click on them, but you can view, I would say, you know, a ton of apps more so than a page. I guess you could look at that as a functionality. Like I can just click on one of these apps and it, it does let me open it up. Like Flappy Bird, as you guys can see, it, it does work, but there's really not much functionality. But what's cool about it is it's just unique. And these type of tweaks always kind of remind me, uh, this is why I like to jailbreak, is to do crazy stuff like this. Like I said, there's there's really no functionality. I can't, I can't imagine someone's gonna be like, okay, I need this tweak because it brings on so much functionality to my iPhone. I know that's not going to happen. It's just, it's just a cool factor. Um, something that you just, you know, you can never get on a, on a stock iPhone is, you know, something like this. Now I've been playing with this for a few hours. I'll kind of explain what's going on here. So basically, um, all of your app icons are turned into these cubes and they're dropped in a pile as you guys can see. So these are all the apps that I have installed. It is using a theme as well so i do have a theme enabled with snowboard um it's it's kind of a it's called kind of stock so it does look kind of stock but as you can see it is different so it does work with themes which i thought was really neat um but yeah it just makes a big pile of icons and then you can basically look around the screen by touching anywhere and moving around as you guys can probably tell there and then this this white box um is forward and backward and sometimes it gets stuck as you guys seen it gets stuck going in a direction i think that this tweak is you know it's not complete so i i hope that the developer will um you know refine it and make it a little bit better but you know i don't i don't expect anything for a tweak like this just because it's something i don't know how to explain it it's really hard to explain it's it's not functional but it just looks cool and it reminds me you know, this is why I jailbreak my iPhone is to be able to do stupid things like this. Now, to get to an application, you have to find it. So that's, that's you know, a drawback. Obviously, it's going to take you some time. But from what I can tell uh, is the pile is always the same if you don't change the applications on your iPhone. So if I were to download a new application it would slightly change the layout. At least that's what I've noticed. So when I do a respring, you guys will see um, when I unlock my iPhone, it comes to the springboard and basically all the cubes of the icons fall down. But from what I can tell is, as long as I don't change what applications I have, it, it they end up you know landing in the same places. So right here, if we look, I have uncovered and it's laying on top of Pixelmator there. So if I do a respring here, let's go ahead and do a respring. I'll show you guys that you will get this kind of weird animation. So when I when I unlock this iPhone here, so there you go, all of the icon cubes just fell down as you guys can see. You don't really get a good view of it because it's like right on top of your viewer. But as you can see, the layout is the same. So there is that same uncover on top of the Pixelmator uh, icon. So if I scroll around here, as you can see, it's it's basically laying the same. So every icon has ended up being in the same place. But if I were to download or delete one of these applications, um, then it then the layout will change. You will have one more cube that changes the way they fall down. So it's really interesting how this works, but it looks freaking cool. I wonder why I have two app stores. Oh wait, oh is that iTunes or something? I don't know. This tweak's really weird. But a downside to this tweak, if we go into settings here and we go into my tweaks, there's no settings to configure. So that really sucks. I wish this tweak had an on off switch so I could just shut it off 
And then when I wanted to show it off to somebody, I could just turn it back on. So unfortunately that it does not have that. So like I said, hopefully we see, um, you know, this developed more, as you can see the forward and back is just a box. So that's why I think it's just incomplete, but it's pretty interesting. You, you actually have a render different, uh, a render distance as well. So if I keep zooming out here, the render distance will basically make it so you can't see your icon cubes, I guess you could call them that. So as you can see, and we're out of the render di uh, distance, which is really interesting because I, I, th I feel like I could lose, well, you can kind of see it there. It's a little wonky, but if I were to keep backing up, I feel like I can lose my sight <laughs> of the icons and it gets real weird. So just a very interesting, weird tweak. You can also, let me show you guys this. You can also go below the floor so there's kind of like no boundaries to your camera view in a sense. So if I just go down here, we'll go right under the icons and now we're under the ground, as you can see, go a little further under and you can see the icons through the floor. So very weird tweak, but pretty damn cool. I mean, I think the renders look awesome of the, the cubes. Like it's really 3D looking. I don't know how well you guys can tell in video but like they look good. It looks really good. Like the, the lighting and the shadowing and everything looks cool, but a pointless tweak that I thought was awesome that I wanted to show you guys. I'll leave the tweak information down in the description. Hopefully you guys found this video cool. If you did definitely throw me a thumbs up that helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy and I will catch you guys in the next one later.